All right, Lady Ada, what is this? I'm testing out some NeoPixels. Um, I've got these like stars and dots and hearts and everything. And this just looks like your standard rainbow swirl on NeoPixels. But what's very interesting is that this is running from a Raspberry Pi 5. And if you're me, you might, like an hour ago, you might be like, hey, you can't do NeoPixel on Raspberry Pi 5 because the BitBank code that was written for the Raspberry Pi, you know, 1, 2, 3, and 4 doesn't run on the new RP1 chip uh, because we don't have access to the PIO library and the BitBanking isn't fast enough. And, we do blah, 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 blah. and then it turns out that actually just like a few days ago, um, Raspberry Pi released PIO lib, which is a utility for... Um, the Raspberry Pi computers that lets you write code for the RP1 chip on the Raspberry Pi 5 and Pi 500 that lets you do like fast PIO driven IL. And then when I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness, Jepler, could you like go and basically make it so we can do NeoPixels on the Raspberry Pi 5? And he's like, yeah, I think I know what to do. So he took their example code and made a binding for Python that provides NeoPixel write. And this is like the function that we use in Blinka and CircuitPython to like, you know, you have a buffer of bytes and you like just want to NeoPixel it out. And after he wrote this and by compiling, you know, and, and, and pip installing it, um, you can now use, well, right now it says NeoPixel write Py5 because we're kind of like hand testing it. But eventually this will be built into Blinka where you'll just be able to do NeoPixel writing and the um, PIO part, the uh, the NeoPixel part will be done by PIO behind the scenes. You won't have a lot of dependencies. It'll be like built into the Blinko library. So basically what I'm saying is very soon we're going to have native support for NeoPixel writing on any pin on the Raspberry Pi 5 with Python and Blinko. That's a big deal. Very exciting.